Happy Saturday, Variant Nation. I've said it many times, but Flash is easily one of my favorite superheroes. Well, today, I've got to talk to you guys about a pretty crazy event that's happened in the DC Universe. I mean, it left me shocked when I read it, and from what I can tell, very few people have caught that it happened. I'm talking about the fact that DC Comics just recently killed off one of their Flashes. That's right, axed. Dead as a doornail. But before I tell you who it is, be warned, I'm about to drop massive spoilers for the first two issues of Heroes in Crisis, and even the Flash War storyline. Again, massive spoilers for the Heroes in Crisis title and the Flash War story. So if you don't want any of that spoiled for you, or want to know which speedster DC killed off, this is your warning. With that warning out of the way, Spoiler Paradise is about to start in... Okay, so believe it or not, DC killed off the original red-headed Wally West in issue one of Heroes in Crisis. They also killed off Roy Harper, AKA Arsenal, which is insane as well. But for today, I'm focusing on the biggest news, which of course is the death of Wally West. Let me start from the beginning on how Wally was killed. So in the Flash title during the Flash War story, Barry and Wally were at odds with one another because Wally was mad at Barry for a bunch of reasons. Barry was also trying to stop Wally from going into the Speed Force to find parts of his past that were taken from him, mainly his twin son and daughter Jay and Iris who are trapped there along with close friends. But when the Flash War comes to an end, Barry and Wally somewhat work out their differences. So with parts of his past still missing along with being gone for years and only recently coming back in the DC Rebirth one-shot issue, Wally is dealing with a lot of things and not in a good state mentally. So in issue 51 of The Flash, Wonder Woman and Superman pick Wally up to take him to Sanctuary. Which if you're not aware is a super secret hospital slash therapy clinic that helps superheroes deal with trauma and tragedy that's happened to them while crime fighting. And this my friends is a direct tie in into Heroes in Crisis issue 1 as it's letting us know hey Wally West is now at Sanctuary and this is why. So now we have to jump to Heroes in Crisis issue 1. In the issue we basically learn that a bunch of heroes and even some villains like Harley Quinn are at Sanctuary being treated for PTSD essentially. We even find out that this hospital slash therapy clinic was created by Batman, Superman, and Wonder Woman, and that the robot therapist there was built with Kryptonian tech infused with the will of Batman, the compassion of Wonder Woman, and the honor of Superman. Which I personally think is kinda awesome. Anyway, Superman, Batman, and Wonder Woman find out there has been murders at Sanctuary. That's right, several heroes have been killed, such as Commander Steel, Blue Jay, Hotspot, and the two big shocks, Arsenal, and of course, the fastest man alive, Wally freaking West. And when they arrive, there's blood everywhere. Now we don't know at this point in time who killed Arsenal and Wally West, but we do know they're for sure dead as Superman says, Arsenal and Flash are confirmed. And that's code for, they're not waking up. Then in issue two of Heroes in Crisis, which just came out this past Wednesday, Booster Gold goes to tell Barry Allen what happened and that he's not sure if he killed Wally West and all the other heroes. Or if it was Harley Quinn, as he said, both of them went crazy and don't remember exactly what happened. It's pretty vague, but that's because we're not supposed to fully know what's going on yet. In any case, after Booster tells Barry this, he goes to check to see what happens. In a flash, mind you. Come on. You guys know I love my puns. And then comes back seconds later giving Booster a right hook to the face while crying, saying, what did you do? But that's all we know as of now. Now I've been very vocal on superhero deaths in comics, and I've said several times how it doesn't really affect me much, because reading comics almost my entire life, I know it's only a matter of time before the publisher is going to bring back that character. But I have to say, this Wally West death is kind of crazy to me, because they literally just brought him back at the beginning of DC Rebirth, which only came out two years ago, after Wally was gone for several years before that. And now they're going to kill him off and get rid of him once again? That's nuts, given he's going to come back eventually. He just had this huge arc with the Flash Rebirth title, and even in the Titans Rebirth series. He was also just officially confirmed by DC Comics to be the fastest man alive, being faster than the creator of the Speed Force himself, Barry Allen, like two or three months ago during the Flash War story. So you don't do all that and kill him off permanently. At least... I wouldn't think you would. But again, the crazy thing to me is that DC allowed writer Tom King to off Wally West so soon. I would even argue Wally is one of the most important characters in DC Comics right now, as his current storylines deal with major elements in DC continuity, including how the timelines got messed up during Flashpoint. For instance, when Wally was recently brought back, Barry asks him, was all this my fault? You disappearing and everything changing during Flashpoint. Wally responded by saying, it wasn't Barry, it was something else, someone else, I could feel it. Even now, Barry, we're being watched. Alluding to the whole Dr. Manhattan thing. Altogether, I'm just super curious to see where the Heroes in Crisis and Flash series go from here, and how long Wally is gonna stay dead. I can't imagine it would be too long, but then again, I would have never thought they would have killed him off so soon. In fact, I forgot the Heroes in Crisis series was in main DC continuity at first. But then I realized, wait, no, it is in the main 
continuity. They even mentioned it in the Flash issue 51, which I talked about earlier, at which point I was like, whoa, you guys actually killed off Wally West. That's crazy. But as I said, I personally think it's only a matter of time before he's brought back to life. He's too popular of a character to permanently keep dead. So the real question I think is, when and how is he going to come back, and where does his character go from here once he does? I also want to know how Arsenal is coming back. While I didn't talk about it too much, that one is also crazy. In any case, let us know what you guys think of all the madness in the comment section below. We'd love to hear any thoughts or theories you may have. But that's going to do it for another episode of Variant, but remember to check out our website, VariantComics.com, as well as all our social media. Links for all of that is in the description. But I'll see you guys next time when I talk about all things comics.